any signals out here. Even that random radio noise we get from the Scourge is quieter. Eerie. Okay, there's a whole bunch. On sensors. This way here. Probes launched. This is Cora's nav point. Okay. Do you wish to embark on the mission? Okay, let's do it. Uh, so Cora's nav point's here. We're gonna take Cora with us, but I'm gonna swap out Liam and bring the Asari that we have with us. So we'll bring PB along here. Uh, so we have Cora and we have the actual Asari that we have on our in our, our team, and that I think is the appropriate team for a mission like this. We're approaching the nav points Cora found. Something's there. It might be an arc, but the damn scourge isn't helping. Sam, help out with sensors. Hard to believe the Lucinia could survive in all this. Why would the Asari Ark be here? Might be lost or looking for something. Sarissa will have plans for those decimation hunters. Wrote the manual on crisis situations. The commando you mentioned. You still believe she'll save the day? Sarissa was a legend even before she was the Pathfinder's bodyguard. She'll have a plan. Aha! Detecting an initiative vessel. Reading life signs. And minimal power. Multiple hull breaches. She's a wreck. If she's space-worthy and her crew's alive, that's all we need. Callow, take us in. I'll try. Must be one docking bay still holding together. Ooh. Ah. We're aboard. Any response to comms? Nothing. Maybe their sensors are busted. What a mess. No one sweeps up for guests anymore. It looks very similar to ours. Hello? Anyone? We're here to help. Great. Just advertise where we are. That's the point, PB. Not if there's invaders here and the ship is... Down. Pretty no, damaged. It's out of power. Ship is pretty damaged, so I'm not sure that's the point. If there's potential enemies. Beginning decompression. Die, you cat monsters. We're not cat. We're a pathfinder team. Ryder, Lieutenant Harper, and Sam. Just send her our ident codes. Confirmed. Sorry. I'm Captain Atandra of what's left of the Lucinia. Come up to the bridge. Maybe you can help fix this mess. Someone's jumpy. So she's been fighting Cat out here. Yep, pretty much the same this as us. Saw combat action. No bodies, though. What? Uh, let's see. <clears throat> I kind of interrupted their conversation there. Uh, key systems critically understaffed. Advise against civilian stasis revival. Advise immediate revival of vital personnel. Contact immediately Pathfinder. So whatever happens, left of the little trigger happy. If the tempest looked like this, how would you feel? Check out. Uh, power distribution efficiency is nine percent. Drive cores offline. Life support function eighty three percent. Well, at least they got life support stuff going. That would be what you'd want to protect most of all, I would think. Gives you time to go and try and fix other things. Without life support, there is no fixing other things. So, makes sense. Should be right in here. But you'd vent a Pathfinder team into space? Respectfully, yes. We can't take any more chances. <clears throat> Sarissa Theris, Pathfinder. Don't mind the captain. Scolding me eases her blood pressure. Mm, I have the same type of thing with my captain. It's okay. Cora's biggest fan. 
uh, Pathfinder, not Bodyguard. Ryder, I hadn't heard you were the Asari Pathfinder. The last we knew, ma'am, Matriarch Ashara was Pathfinder with you acting as her Tiamna. I served with Asari Commandos, ma'am. Memorized all your battle manuals. Matriarch Ashara is dead. Sarissa was next in line. Her battle manuals haven't kept the cat off my ark. Well, we're here to save you. <laughs> that ends today. We'll see your ark safely back to the Nexus. I hope so. We've tried everything else. Matriarch Ashara died trying to negotiate with those cat bastards, so I took something precious from them, too. I stole a module containing tactical data, all their secret routes through this phenomenon. We call it the Scourge, ma'am. If we could outmaneuver the Ket through it... We'd stand a better chance against them. Their Archon had the same thought. He sent his elite agent, the Valiant, and his decimation hunters after us. We take more damage each time we escape the Valiant. The last assault? He sent forces to board us. Sarissa's theft has made things problematic. Are there a cat on board? How many boarders are we talking about? We're not sure, but for now, they're contained down there. We couldn't do more. We spent our resources evacuating civilians. The Valiant wants Sarissa to pay. Well, she did her job. Pathfinders have to take risks, Captain. I've taken my share. Goddess, preserve me. <laughs> what would it take to get the Ark out of here before this Valiant catches up again? An FTL burn long enough to lose him. But since the evacuation, we've been stuck at minimal power. The drive core is dead. My people are investigating, but those systems are below deck, with the Ket borders. Another Pathfinder team could back them up. Get power for the drive core, and my Sam and I will finish deciphering the Ket data. We'll turn the Valiant's escape routes against him. First rule, always know your escape plan. The last commando report came from hangar control. I'll give you access. Please be careful. Okay, well, we're on the tram. Why not just send us... Why give me the choice? Why not just send us... Okay, you get okay, it. Cora? Pathfinders take risks. They really do. Matriarch Ashara, your father. We roll the dice and... Cora, nothing will happen to me. I didn't say that. <laughs> didn't you? Come on. The sooner we find those commandos, the better. Right, here we go. Was it this quiet when the arcs were traveling through dark space? Doubt it. Quieter. They weren't busted up back then. The Lucinia will be back to normal once we get her to the Nexus. Let's grab this data pad. Uh, technician Sadia. Stall driver update. Uh, not a false alarm. Seal all the doors. Okay, this must be when. Uh, captain's request override for hangar door access is override the launch permissions. Got a dozen escape pods launched today. Launch is complete. Reinstalling hangar door accesses. Not a false alarm. Someone overrode the hangar doors, then tried to seal them in a hurry. Indecisive, hmm? Here we are. Hangar control. This layout... Hey, look. We might have a friend. Must be part of Sarissa's team. This layout is very combat ready. You know what I mean? Stop. In the name of the goddess, I'll... Yeah? Shoot your rescuers. Rescuers? And humans? Your Ark made it? Just about. I'm Ryder, the Human Pathfinder. This is my team. I'm Vidaria Damali, Sarissa's new second-in-command. Sorry about the mix-up. I hope I can help. You seem like a rookie. Mm, I don't want to do that. Let's just get right to business. The captain says we need to restore power to go to FTL. Right. Yes. I've tracked the power drain, and I think shutting the hangar bay doors will fix it. The cat forced the doors open, and the safeties are draining power trying to shut them. 
Why keep the hangar bays open? There's no ships around. I think the Ket are trying to reach the bridge. Ket can survive in vacuum for a little while. If we shut the doors, the Valiant's pet hunters lose their last escape route too. I pray the power will be enough for FTL, I just... Vidaria, I served as a huntress. Remember Sarissa's manuals. Breathe, purpose, action. Breathe. <sighs> okay. Please take a look at the console. I'll keep watch. <laughs> Having Cora. Cora knows what she's doing. Starting hunger door closure sequence. Kate! We've got this. Cover the console while Sam works. Nice steady fire. Where are yes, they? Ma'am. Where are they? And the door closure at 21%. Seriously? He's right here and he's not hitting me? It's terrible AI. <laughs> Maybe he was hitting me. Maybe that's why my shields were getting lower. Why are my hotkeys not working? Freaking okay. hotkeys that are not working at all. Should have done it. So where's our damn power for FTL? Vidaria? Let's ask her. Whoa. What was that? I estimate that several of the arc's electrical junctions just overloaded. Great. Shit. Vidaria? What you doing? Vidaria, Sam says we lost some electrical junctions. I know. The overload started a fire. Damn it, that shouldn't have happened. Be calm, soldier. What could have made him overload? If... If there's something else draining power on the lower decks, as something big... Maybe the decimation hunters rigged something up. I wouldn't put it past those wretches. Those Ket. They must be watching us. If they delay the repairs long enough, the Valiant ship catches up. If we're quick and efficient, we can outmaneuver them. Okay. First thing is the last stasis pods. I'll go check on them. You could go below, look for whatever's draining power, and maybe help with the fire. Which way to the lower decks? Uh, the living quarters. I'll open maintenance access. You can cut through. Good luck. May the cat wither in the void before you. Okay, let's go. Ryder, it's Sarissa. We got some power, then a damage report. What happened? An accident. We're fixing it. All right, go forward. We'll keep prepping the drive core. We won't let you down, ma'am. Of course not, Lieutenant. Sarissa out. Hmm. Sarissa seems like a pretty decent leader. <laughs> Very experienced. 
Uh, exec evacuation order for Lamazia Perrin. An emergency situation is in effect aboard the Ark, and evacuation is now necessary. When signaled, please go immediately to seat 06 in escape pod 202. If you do not report within 10 minutes, your seat will be reassigned. Emergency kit, rations, any essential medications, omni tools. Do not take personal items. Do not wait for family members. An evacuation order. Someone must have dropped it. I would too if the cat were on my heels. PB's a runner, though. Some people are runners, some people are fighters. I think PB's more of a runner. Although, in this team, she's doing a pretty good job of fighting with us, so thanks for that. Speaking of fighting, uh, nope, not that. Uh, we have some skill points to give, too. So, seven points for Scott Ryder. Can I do some more damage with my assault rifles, please? Stability, I like this. And then how about we add spare ammo to this? I don't need spare ammo. Wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? I got this other... I got this gun that just overheats. Although, I think maybe the spare ammo would help with the heat, right? Less rifle weight would be kind of nice. But I'm already at like 100%. And you don't get any benefits for being under 100%. So I think that maybe this will help with the heat too. We'll, we'll try that out. See what that does. Or maybe combat fitness instead. Actually, let's undo the changes and go for combat fitness instead. I like this. This is good. Combat fitness should be a thing. Yep, cool. Vanguard, nice. Thanks. Aha, uh -huh. infiltrator, cool. Okay, Cora. Let's give you your points. You have seven available. We can give you another point in Nova, or I can up your charge if it will let me. It's locked. So there's no loyalty mission for you yet. This might be it. I wonder if this is it. Um, I wonder if what we're on right now is what's it. Anti-shield or anti-armor? Mm. I think armor. I'm going to give you plus arm in the armor. And then PB, we're going to want to assign your 11 points. We pretty much only have shockwave for you, for you on this. So we'll go with damage and force and a recharge speed. Confirm an exit. There we go. Okay, so we can't do anything else with skill points until we do your loyalty missions and stuff. So let's go through the door. Ugh, it's pitch black down here. Watch your step. Go this way. There's a door here. Okay. Container over this way. What's mm. this? The nameplate says Matriarch Ishara, the Pathfinder who died. It's like a shrine for her. Did you know Matriarch Ashara? Only by reputation. She was a diplomat, very wise and respected, and the Ket took her away. Oh, it must be eating Sarissa up inside. Either this is a shrine for her, or that's just how she had her assortment of stuff, and it doesn't look like this is a way you'd keep your stuff, though. I think this is more of like a shrine. They didn't have flowers, so they put like ammo clips or something. This might have been her room. Pathfinder's quarters, if you will. Here, here. I'm Jesus. almost to the stasis pods. Ah, blasted. No power for elevators. Vidaria, cut the elevator's mag locks. If the arcs like ours, you can climb down the shaft. Good idea. Thanks, ma'am. Not gonna lie, guys. I jumped. Totally did. Big, big jump. <laughs> On that. Uh, this holographic coloring, coloring book is set to a simple image of a farm. Someone has scribbled in colors and drawn thessian animals. Scrawls on one side. Read, my farm, plant seeds, watering can, feed them lots of hay. Mummy says we have to go on a ship again. Mummy says I have to be brave. I don't want to be brave. I want to be a farmer. Got a container here to pillage whatever we can right got another terminal uh child care rotation responses so this is from thenemis to jarta to jatra uh forward to anyone not on the main list bella says uh i can take the twins and mahaya tonight uh we're camped by the emergency lighting so mahaya will have her night light 
Jadiri says, because the Tacastus and Zalai got called for evac early, there's leftover cleanup supplies and food in the red cooler. Remember, if you need diaper bags, there's sterile cleanup bags in the washroom cabinet. Break the locks if you have to. Day 10, still going strong, Thana. Goodbyes, uh, basically to everyone on the Lucinia. From Rodira Firas, making the big jump soon, leaving all my love and best wishes. Go ahead and share out my stasis locker. Can't take it. Can't worry about it. We'll find help. Promise. With your axe. Okay. Nothing else back here? They really packed people in. A lot of Asari think communal living is cozy. You're not one of them? Hell no. Give me personal space and stuff space. Stuff space. PB doesn't seem like she's the typical Asari. Another terminal so over there. People crammed in, waiting, hearing the emergency alarms. The cat did that to them. What's happening? Uh, from Sarissa Theris to all. You're out of stasis because you were needed on deck early. Unfortunately, you now need to adapt to a very different scenario than what was expected. To avoid rumors spreading, this is the situation. We are under attack by a hostile species. Diplomatic overtures were rejected and will not be repeated. Regrettably, our matriarch Ashara died attempting negotiations. I have reluctantly taken on her role as Pathfinder, but cannot replace her. We must deviate from our intended course and attempt to lose the enemy before our rendezvous with the Nexus. With Captain Atandra's approval, I have authorized a general evacuation order as we revive civilians. Meanwhile, commando forces and our survey ship, the Parafona, will perform necessary diversionary, diversionary actions. Uh, I will not understate the seriousness of our position. I won't underestimate your skills either. I have faith in you. S. Theris, Pathfinder. Okay, yeah, she's got it. She's under control, sure. Regrets uh, to Loria. For the last time, I'm not shutting up. I went to sleep dreaming of new worlds and woke to fire and screaming and people huddled in dormitories. And they won't let us back into stasis. We're supposed to just crash land on a barren planet and some teeny escape pod? Like, that's gonna be any better? I want what was promised. What I gave them my money and my life for. And I'm not going to stop trying to get answers, S. Container in here. The cat brought their pets. <laughs> really hope these things got aboard after the children left. Yeah. Uh, well, keep your hopes up. That's about all you're going to get terminal here, but I can't activate it or inter interact with it is what I should say. Just before we go in that door, I just want to check. See if there's anything oh, else. Hear that? Yep, I hear it. What were they up to? Looking for a nicer room? Good luck, buddy. They got smoked, I know that. They got totally smoked. Completely wasted them. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. They're just hanging out in here, like. Lights off and everything. Bunch of creepy dudes. Okay. I wonder if Cat can see in the dark. I mean, it's literally pitch black except for our lights, and they didn't have any lights on in there, so. I don't think they, they have really great night vision. Fideria again. Two cat were trying to mess with the stasis pods. Not anymore. Good work. Remember Sarissa's manuals. Stay low. I will. The pods are safe. I'll keep tracking that power drain. Looks bad. Why isn't the fire suppression system engaged? Either insufficient power, or the explosion damaged fire control. We could fix that if we find the controls. And then reach whatever's draining power without getting singed. It's Vidaria. 
The cat saw me. I am trapped in an air vent. Ready your biotics and pick them off as they pass. But they'll hear. You're a huntress, a silent predator. Okay. Going silent. Cora, I've got a lot more respect for you now. Just gotta say. It's pretty awesome seeing you in action like this. Natural habitat and all. Got rid of the big guy. Watch out overhead. Not gonna take cover, I'm just gonna pick you off. <laughs> he says the same to me as I get out of cover. Fire suppression controls over there. Just taking a quick gander around the room. Get the fire controls, and we can get this out. All right, fine, we'll do it. Calm down. Ouch. Yeah, that's fried. That sucks. Ironic. The electrical junction is damaged. I recommend searching for an alternative. Can't see a way to fix it. Any luck, Ryder? Yeah, right here. Whatever this powers, the Ark needs fire control more. There, let's try again. Whatever this powers. Oxygen. That should pull us <laughs> off. Videri again. I got the ket. They got me back, but I'm okay. Nice work. And with the hangar shut, I managed to track the real power drain. Here's the nav point. I'll see you there. Cool. Good stuff. Uh, hmm. Nav point, right. Do this door then. Tundra here. We're warming up the drive core, but we need more juice. We're on it, Captain. Good. The Valiant ship is still out there somewhere. We've lost so many, and Matriarch Ashara. It can't be for nothing. She sounds a lot like Captain Dunn. What is it? It's like nails on glass. Ugh. Huh? What's like nails on glass? I don't hear anything. Looks like an observation deck. For observing the mess they made of the place? People must have evacuated from the deck beyond. Ryder, over here. Thank the goddess you're all right. Here, this is what's draining the power. What is this thing? It looks like the cat attack sheared off some hull plating. Then someone rigged up this Mass Effect field device. The field's so strong, it holds the hull together. It would help people evacuate the deck beyond. That is really smart. Explains the headaches, too. Yeah, that's true. Genius and all the chaos. Whoever built this was smart. Probably saved a lot of lives. I pray she got out safe. That deck's deserted now. We have to turn the device off. I tried pulling the plug, but nothing. Can you scan it? Maybe your Sam can figure it out. The device requires two people for shutdown. One disconnecting the cables, and another at the device itself. I'll handle the device. Caution. Once begun, the failsafe cycle must be completed, or the device will fuse. Okay, so you must complete it or the device will fuse. Got it. So, I guess there's three parts to this. We'll pull the cables. And Ready, we'll Bidaria? have some fighting. Disconnecting the first cable now. Cat! Watch Obviously. the device. We'll handle them. We need you, Vidaria. You can do this. Don't bother! We've got mad boots, they don't! Where's the other cable? Do I have to beat them before I can pull the cable? I 
wanted to just go and pull it, but apparently I can't. They're down. Okay, next cable. Ready when you are. Pulling it. More cat! Take him down! Goddess, how many came aboard? <laughs> you things, man. All right, now the cable. Third cable. This way. Okay. Pulling it out. Working on the last cable. That was fun. Another attack. They're desperate, Ryder. This must be the last of them. Biotics. Good biotics. The kit are down. The device can now be deactivated. Sweet. Deactivating device. It's off. That noise. It's gone. If anyone asks, it was like that when we got here. <laughs> it's Captain Atandra. Ryder, the drive core is coming online. You did it. A few minutes, and we're out of here. There's a hole in your arc. Can we still go to FTL if there's, say, a big hole breach down here? Uh, the maneuver I plan should hold us together. If the FTL burn doesn't, we'll have to cope. Sarissa here. Superb work, all of you. We're almost home. It's really over. I should go and help. There might be something I can do. You helped save this whole arc. Not bad for your first big mission. Sarissa should be proud, Vidaria. You'll be one hell of a commando. You'd know, Lieutenant. Thank you for everything. Goddess guide you. Pathfinder, restoring power has freed up your data cache. It includes the succession log from Matriarch Ishara. Can you access it? Forget the data. I need you. The barrier's collapsing. Ishara, they'll tear the Ark apart. I... That data is the only thing that might buy us time. Can't reinforcements approaching, Pathfinder Ishara. Sarissa! My Samkin! Tiamna, please! I have to save them, even if I can't save... Forgive hmm. me. Hmm... Not such a hero after all, huh? Tiamna used to mean guardian of temples. A champion who stayed faithful even when all was lost. Sarissa left her to die. I don't know if it was a necessary decision. And it sounds like she did it to save other lives, right? Save the data? I mean, she went... Hmm. I don't know. Sarissa was forced to choose between her Pathfinder and her Ark. She made the right call. Look around. Does this look like a right call? I... Damn it all, Ryder. What do I do? First, we... We've... Yeah. Alarm's going off. Atandra here. The cat hunters blindsided us. They have a dropship headed for the breach on deck 12. 
How long until we have FTL? Too long. Sarissa's coming to help. Push him back. Helmets on, people. By helmets on, I mean... Okay, there. <laughs> it's like, am I going to put mine on? Here we go. Caution. The Mass Effect field device is still connected. Remotely triggering it may affect local gravity. Uh-huh. Could be useful. Keep your mag boots active! And watch the giant hole! Oh, I like how the sound is. I like how you can barely hear anything. Yes, we do. Oh man, that's a quite a quite a good number of them actually. Wow, I can't get away. Jesus. Where'd you come from? How did you get around me so quickly? The Asari thief hides behind her minions. She is their puppeteer. She will be judged as they are. Damn. They're all over me. I don't know how I can, like, do any better against him with this. <laughs> like, he's just gonna keep blocking it with that shield, that orb, is, uh, all the armor that it has. This Mass Effect field that he has around himself. Shut the hell up! Trying to hit that orb. Oh, he's protecting himself again. Just let the homing, like we'll just let my gun kind of do most of the work with the, the 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 ammunition that you know kind of curves in and goes to its target. The orb just doesn't die, man. It does barely any damage to this orb. I was gonna say, like, come on. <laughs> 
Is he burning? Nah, do it, dude. Seriously, do it. Send him out at the scourge. Like the Battle of Crocus, there's still a chance. Lieutenant, please. Help her. We're going faster than light while you're on the deck. That makes no sense. <laughs> a skeleton crew, but enough to patch up the Ark. She'll make it to the Nexus. Whatever it cost. You need to talk to Sarissa about Ashara's message. I wanted to thank you both. That was exemplary work. I'm proud to- Ma'am? Sarissa? We know about Ashara. The log survived. Then her final moments her won't be final. lost. You deserted your Pathfinder. You should be better than... I chose protecting all these people over a single life. The choice they train us to make, Lieutenant. But you didn't tell anyone. Because then you wouldn't be their shining hero. And maybe that's how it should be. Being a Pathfinder means giving them hope. Ryder, you know this, don't you? Personally, I think she made the right call. That's just me. I mean, I know her task is to protect that one person who is the leader, but I, I don't know. For me, it's you, you save. Uh, I mean, it does depend on how many the masses really is, because if you have like a dozen farmers, for example, it's not worth as much as the Pathfinder. But if it's 10,000 lives on the Ark and the entire Ark is going to go down and you're going to lose that many people, then yeah, I mean, that's... I don't know what the situation was entirely. She does. She seems like a great commander. She seems like she's really in control of tactical situations. Uh, she seems like she knows how to lead. And I'm not sure I necessarily would like trust her judgment 100% without knowing all the facts. But I think I'm going to keep it quiet. I think it means giving people hope. And if they lose hope in their new leader after their old leader died, that's even worse. Like... I'm gonna keep it quiet. It's over. Bringing up what happened won't do any good. Is that justice? Is that for you to decide? Sorry, but we need to prep for the Nexus approach. We've got a hell of a story for them. You should know. The Nexus is going to throw you the party of a lifetime. You can raise a glass to the Fallen and to a better future. We don't walk an easy road. I hope we both find what we're looking for. Come on, Ryder. We're good here. Cora's not going to like it, but... I, I just... I, I don't know the right call in that situation, but... Saving a ton of people is... Still, to me, better than saving one, you know? Hey, you okay? Can I just do today over again? And not run away from my duty? I put so much faith in Sarissa. But the Asari were just as lost as we are. We know our mission. I think we're finding our way pretty well. <laughs> Should have known better than to say that to a Pathfinder. Thank you for being there, on the Lucinia. Can I tell you something? Anything. The old man was right to choose you as Pathfinder instead. I don't blaze a trail, 
I always look for the mentor, their plan. As a pathfinder, my mistakes would be worse than Sarissa's. There's a lot of stuff to say here. A lot of stuff to say here. Twice the woman she is. I, I kind of like this one. Hmm. Like, I like this option, but I still want to say this one, too. Like, I want to say them both, you know? But I feel like if I say this one, I won't get the chance to say this one. Everyone makes mistakes. You're still you. Smart, talented, wonderful Cora. That's what you see? It's what I always see. How? You're so important and damn heroic. And all I see in the mirror is Sarissa. The Pathfinder I might have been. There you go. Sarissa? She lied just to stay a hero. You fight, you save lives, and you don't need applause for doing it. That isn't... It is true. Deal with it. Look, I know we flirt. The other person flirts back, and it's fun. But real talk? I feel a hell of a lot better with you here. Oh, Would a hug be okay? Oh, we're giving that hug. Absolutely. You know we're giving that hug. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I'm okay. Or I will be. Just have some thinking to do. If I can get you off my mind. Yeah, good luck with that. All right, loyalty earned. Ryder, Ryder has learned Korra's loyalty. Rank six are now unlocked. Rank six abilities unlocked. Sweet. Oh man, what a cool mission that was. I had a lot of fun. That was great. Um, we have AVP outstanding, so we can check that out. We have science pods, military pods, and commerce pods. I'm kind of thinking supply lines. Or gray market connections. Improved prices? Oh yeah, that one, that one. Yeah, that one. Now we get gray market connections, connections times two and market dominance. Gain access to special inventories from merchants or even better prices when buying and selling. The and selling thing is super attractive. We're going to do that. Because we got quite a bit of stuff to sell. Speaking of which, do that right here. See, Sell all salvage. We get a whole bunch for that. We don't have a whole lot of money, but yeah, honestly, I'm not really using a whole lot. But I think my gun could use... I think the gun that I'm using could definitely could do some more damage because right now I'm not really doing a whole lot of damage. We're taking a lot of shots and uh, I'm kind of thinking my weapons could use a little bit of an upgrade here. Uh, I, you know, I'll do that. I'll do that off stream. I, I don't think I need to do that here. Uh, I don't think it's necessary to do that completely like to do like spend all the time in the menus and stuff, but I, I could do that later. Strike team missions. I mean, do I have any going? I don't think I do because I don't care. So never mind. Multiplayer stuff. Don't care. PB. Hi there. Just checking in. What's up? Apparently, there's nothing to say. I Thanks mean, for chatting. We did just we'll talk again later. Like, you know it. Totally saved your arc just now, and your people are going to be fine. And you know, it's just totally like you know, just that little bit. But you have nothing to say. Okay, that's right. Fair. Fair enough, I guess. Whatever. No, that's the wrong person. Hey there. Got a sec? No, she doesn't. Sure. She doesn't have a sec. Thanks for chatting. We'll talk again later. Yeah. You know it. Come on. Come on. Go back, go back, go back. And I'm on the side of her again. Okay. Vetra. I got the popcorn. And whatever Graxon is. Thank you. I owe Cora for letting me use her clearance. This'll be fun. Like watching vids with Sid when she was little. Speaking of Sid, she's got something for us to do on Illidan, too. I think Illidan is definitely our next destination. There's too much to do there. Very important stuff to do there. But I would like to see if the crew has anything else to say before heading out. So let's take a wind down from this awesome mission and just kind of talk to some people and see what they got. I'm going to go this way. See if there's anyone in the uh, crew quarters and stuff we can talk to. We've got uh, terrible frame rates in the terrible frame rates in the tempest. You guys, like Jesus, 
frame rates are freaking awful. I don't know if it's translating to the recording at all, but I was getting like 10 FPS there for a second. Prodromos, typical houses for humans? There's a lot of variance even within our species. I'm not sure I can call anything typical. Yours then. What did your family home look like? Mm, I might start crying. Is that shameful? We cry together, laugh together, sometimes fight like Adi. Now that sounds like home. Let's take a look. I'll talk to uh, Liam first. Still waiting on our visit to Aya. Useful, but also fun. Looking forward to it. Thoughts on the squad? What's your read on the people we're working with? The squad and crew? They're all fine. You must have opinions. Your opinion's more important. Mm. What do you think of your people? Capable but untested. Psh, yeah, they're tested now. What a weird, odd, odd conversation to have at this point of the game. Some people wonder how we make this team work. Some days, I'm one of them. It's a blur sometimes. I bet Lexi's flagging all kinds of psych warnings. Up to us to figure it out. That's why this is our ship. So we own it. Want to make it work. Just wondering what you think of how I'm doing at the job. I'm committed to the initiative. Your Pathfinder. It's as simple as it gets. We'll talk later. <laughs> Boring. This is why I don't talk to Liam very often. His conversations are just, there aren't that many of them. I think what it is, is I just have to progress the main story mission. I have to go to Illidan, for example. I have to really progress the main story in order to get new dialogue from crew. Uh, but I, I don't know. Every time I do a mission, I expect maybe something to be commented on. And it just doesn't happen because there's like so many different variables. There's no way the developers could like be accurate with that. As accurate as I want it to be, you know? What do you got to say, Jal? Yes? Absolutely nothing. See? <laughs> I'll see you later, Jal. Stay strong and uh, clear. Absolutely nothing. Can I at least count on Korra having something to say now? I just completed her loyalty mission. I know we just talked, but um, she might have some. Or maybe Lexi, who's not here. There she is. Lexi, what's up? Feeling okay? Ah, uh, new memory fragment. I saw another memory that Dad locked away, the day my mom died. I'm sorry, Ryder. We each have our reasons for coming here. Mom was his. Her death fueled him. Grief can be a powerful motivator. If you can't run from it, use it. Guess that's what he did. I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Let's go this way. Anyone down here? Hey, Drac. Devil's advocate, okay? Go for it. With the cat entrenched here and things as they are, maybe we should focus our efforts on leaving this cluster. You mean quit? Run away? Well, we came to find a new home, not a new enemy, right? We knew this was a possible scenario, and we took the jump anyway. What she said. I hear Drac, but like, they sound like I know I know Gil's above me, but it sounds like Drac is too, and I just don't see him. Cause I wanted to talk with him, but Vetra's not in here. Let's go up the lift. No, oh, okay, he's over here. I just couldn't see him. Let's talk with Gil and Drac then. I'm not sure Drac will have anything to say, but Gil should. Hey, Ryder, what's the story? Or not. Good talking to you, Gil. Anytime. It's been a while since I've talked to Gil. I figured he'd have something, but... Alright. Well, let's talk to the Krogan anyway. See if he's got anything left. Ryder. Mm -hmm. We could talk about war stories, actually. I would like... I, I really enjoy hearing his war stories. Got any stories or advice to share? Does a pie jack scratch its butt? Uh, more combat advice. Tell me more about fighting Cat. Ascendant. Hmm. Keep your distance. Don't let him get you in those force fields. Pop that little orb, then shoot him in the head, just like anything else. Yeah, that's what we've been doing. We can talk more later. Sure. That's what we just got done doing. This is an ascendant. Okay, then. 
So there's no Vetra anywhere. No, don't think so. Haven't seen her yet anyway. She might be here. Wait, we already talked to Vetra over in the other location though, didn't we? What can I do for you, Pathfinder? Yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. You probably have work to do. We can chat later. You know where to find me. Yeah, we already talked to Vetra, so don't need to worry about that. So I think now all I want to do is just see if Korra has anything additional to say. Ryder? Now that we've got the loyalty mission out of the way, I guess we'll go like this. Any more commando war stories? We once infiltrated a dangerous cult by posing as new initiates. Belinza hated it. She was like our padre. The cult, that perversion of faith, really upset her. How did you stop them? Nasira pretended that Valenza needed to be purified of evil. She was given a private audience with the cult leader. Valenza shot her and then prayed for her. <laughs> See you later, Cora. It's perfect. Stay safe. It's perfect justice. Just, <laughs> it's absolutely. Uh, shot her and then prayed for her. Good. Okay, uh, same thing as usual. We'll talk to Suvi, and then we'll talk to uh, Kalo. And then Anything we're going to Illidan. Nothing for Suvi. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Kalo, what's up? I hear you found a stasis locker from the Salarian Ark. Technically, someone else found it first. But yes. How wonderful. I know it's not the Ark itself, but any sign is better than nothing, surely. Please, if I can help the search at all, just ask. Or ask anyway. You're good company. <laughs> uh, okay, any stories about the Tempest? Tell me something else about the ship. Her engine's based on the Ark's Odyssey Drive, which got us through dark space. The core takes the static electricity it generates and stores it in capacitors. We basically make our own power supply. It took Serena and Teon weeks to get it working on a smaller ship. And a few electrical shocks. Any other stories? Tell me something else about the ship. Our aerospace engineer was Tian Ada Vasmore, a Quarian fellow, and absolutely fearless. Once, some Omega scrap dealer pulled the we don't sell to Quarians nonsense. Tion found a workaround. What did he do? He glued a memory foam to his environmental suit. Then, during the negotiations, leaned against the drive core he wanted, very casual. It made a perfect mold of the components. And the scrap dealer was none the wiser. That's pretty brilliant, actually. Well, Corins, Corians and their tricks, man. What's your opinion of the others? What do you think of the rest of the crew? Liam's quite fun. Not many humans have that kind of energy. I probably shouldn't have told him there are secret compartments in the armory, though. He's been looking all day. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Okay, cool. All right, then. We are on our way to Elodin, guys. That's where we're going. That's where we're going now. This is where we are. And we're going all the way to the other, the other side of the cluster. Right here. The Ark will make it back to the Nexus just fine. This is where we are going, right here. But I can't highlight it. No idea why. Okay. We're on course. Yeah, we'll let this we'll let this coast like this. So, uh, I'm not going to enter I'm not going to disembark the tempest during this episode. We'll do this next episode. So, if you guys like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Forgive me. Tiamna used to mean guardian of temples, a champion who stayed faithful even when all was lost.